everyone, Miss Tui here. In today's lesson, you are going to practice multiplication by choosing random numbers to multiply together. You will create a number randomizer using lines and color codes that will help you choose random numbers. Then you will use the commutative property to multiply numbers together to show that no matter what order you put the numbers in, the product or the answer doesn't change. For today's lesson, you will need your Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, your Mix It Up Multiplication Activity Map, your Mix It Up Multiplication Activity Sheet, and your color code markers. Don't forget a pencil. After completing today's lesson, you will be able to write multiplication problems using the random numbers that the Ozobot gives you. And you'll be able to apply the commutative property to show that the numbers in reverse order still gives you the same product or answer. Multiplication is one of the four basic operations in math and is used to combine groups of equal sizes. Multiplication is known as repeated addition. Let's think about the problem. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12. When you break down this example, the number 3 has been added four times. Multiplication allows us to take the number 3 and times it by 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. Let's look at another example. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 10. This example shows that the number two has been added five times, so we could solve this problem with multiplication. Two times five equals 10. As you master your multiplication facts, the commutative property is a helpful rule in math that tells you the order in which you multiply numbers doesn't change the product. Thinking back to our examples, 3 times 4 is 12, and 4 times 3 is 12. Similarly, 2 times 5 is 10, and 5 times 2 is also 10. Let's get started. Get out your Mix It Up multiplication map. You'll see Ozobot has five possible pathways to follow. At the end of each pathway, you'll need to write a number. I'm going to choose numbers four through eight. You can choose your own numbers, any numbers between one and nine. Can you write a different number at the end of each of your pathways on your Mix It Up multiplication map? Now it's time to move on to the missing color codes. Look at your map. You will notice that there are four missing color codes on the pathways that Ozobot will travel. If you see a sequence of three blocks, a speed color code is missing. If you see a sequence of four blocks, a cool moves color code is missing. On my map, I will use snail, slow, and Nitro Boost to program my bot to change speed. I will also use Tornado to program my bot to spin around in a circle. It's your turn to use your color code markers to add your own color codes to complete each pathway. Can you add color codes on your paper? Let's see how Ozobot chooses a random number using lines and color codes. What should you do with that number? Watch me. First, I'll put my Ozobot on start and watch it move to choose a random number. My Ozobot chose the number five. 
I will then find the column on my worksheet that says, Ozobot wants me to know. Then I'll write the number on the first line for number one. Next, I'll put my Ozobot back on start and watch it move to choose a second random number. My bot chose the number eight. I will write this number on the second line for number one to complete my multiplication problem. My first problem is five times eight. I will solve this problem and write the product. Five times eight equals 40. Can you use your Ozobot to make and solve your first multiplication problem? Were you able to solve the multiplication problem Ozobot wanted you to know? Great job. The multiplication problem my Ozobot wanted me to solve was five times eight, and I got a product of 40. If I know five times eight is 40, I also know what eight times five is. Now I will finish the second column on my worksheet that says, so I also know using the commutative property of multiplication. When you change the order of the numbers being multiplied, the answer or the product is still the same. I know five times eight is 40. I also know eight times five is 40. Can you show what you know about the commutative property by changing the order of the numbers you multiplied to find the same product? Try this on your paper. You are on your way to becoming a multiplication fact master. By applying the commutative property, you've already practiced two facts. I am having so much fun watching my Ozobot randomly pick numbers and using them to practice my multiplication. To complete this lesson, I will keep practicing until my mix it up multiplication worksheet is complete. Remember, pick up your bot, place it at start to choose numbers, and then record your multiplication sentences on your sheet of paper. Can you make and solve nine more multiplication problems using your Ozobot and the commutative property? Before submitting your work, don't forget to check that your sheets have a different number written at the end of each pathway. Remember, you can choose to use numbers one through nine four different color codes to complete the pathways, 10 multiplication problems using the numbers your bot chose, and 10 multiplication problems written that show the commutative property of the numbers your bot chose, and a final product written for all of your multiplication problems. Make sure the Ozobot can follow the lines and the color codes to randomly choose a number. If you're looking for more to do, explore an important part of computer science, data. Use your Mix It Up multiplication sheet to gather some data or information about your bot. What number did it go to the most? What number did it move to the least? Did your bot repeat any problems or give you the same two numbers to multiply? Come back again soon for our next lesson.